Hey everybody, Rob Murray here from Intrigue. Uh, just wanted to share an idea and a couple of observations that have been happening over the last couple of weeks that might just kind of get you thinking the way you need to to get through all this craziness. So um, at Intrigue, we've been hosting virtual town halls, not only for our clients, but also for uh, different industries like in home improvement and construction. Uh, I've also had the opportunity through uh, the Entrepreneurs Organization to be hosting uh, town halls with entrepreneurs across Southwest Ontario. And uh, I'm also in a, a WhatsApp group for EO um, uh, across the country. And it's been really uh, kind of neat to see the temperature in all these virtual rooms. You know, three weeks ago, there was a lot of kind of panic. Um, a lot of people were overwhelmed. Some people were paralyzed, not knowing what to do next. Um, two weeks ago, we started seeing a lot of people were confused and looking for answers with regard to programs that were available, whether it was like the wage subsidy or BDC loans, EDC financing, um, the work share program. Um, there was just an onslaught of webinars that have been coming out and they're still continuing to come out so people can get their learn on and, and see clarity. So, And then last week we started seeing people like, okay, you know what, I think I've got a grasp of you know, where I'm at and what the business, where the business is at. You know, teams are being communicated with, kind of stabilizing. And then this week, um, it's been really around like, what do I do next? And what's the next step? How do I change the way I'm doing business so that I can keep, you know, either the team going or the business alive or even thriving? So I wanted to share a model that I was, um, I had the fortunate opportunity to be exposed to uh, two weeks ago to maybe get you thinking in uh, a way where you can start figuring out what you can do to move forward. And so it's a pretty simple idea, but I wanted to just share it with you quick. So the first idea around it is that uh, there's a spectrum. And on one end of the spectrum, it's you know in a certain time economy. So things are, at certain times, marketplace is predictable. You do X, you get Y. Um, you know, you do a certain amount of behaviors, go to trade shows, you do sales calls, you do online marketing, you generate leads, you do quotes, you get business, you do RFPs, whatever it is. It's like relatively predictable. You know how the marketplace is going to respond. It's certain. And you exploit in those, you exploit opportunities in those, in that environment, which is kind of what we've been doing essentially since like 2008. Uh, not just us, but like, you know, the, the economy around the world. So then, um, after that, on the other end of the spectrum is uncertain times and in an uncertain economy, things are unpredictable. And so we don't know how people are going to respond. You know, even today at a town hall, um, there was a gentleman who is in interior renovations and people won't let them into their homes. And so like he, that he couldn't have predicted that was going to happen. It's uncertain times and, and that type of an economy you want to explore new ideas. But when you explore new ideas, you have to do it quickly and cheaply because you don't know how things are going to work. So you want to explore a new idea, test it, see how people respond, and then move forward. And so then the question becomes, well, how do you test new ideas quickly and cheaply? And that's kind of what I wanted to share with you. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about is when developing new ideas to explore, uh, to use your team. And so we've been doing this at Intrigue and it's just been awe-inspiring to see the type of ideas that are coming up from everybody in the group around how we can try new strategies. And one of the things we're thinking about right now is the idea that in a time like this, entrepreneurs want to try new things, but it's tough to justify investing cash into things we don't know will work. So Intrigue's working on the idea of like a mutual gain model. How can we work with clients to you know get sales and revenue going and then share in the win? And so then from that perspective, how do you test an idea cheaply and quickly? So in our case, and you might even receive this, we're, we're gonna be doing an e-commerce initiative where we're gonna be providing free e-commerce websites for people that wanna get online and then marketing and driving traffic to those online stores and then sharing in the revenue that's purchased through the platform. And then we bill the following month so that the cash is already in the bank to pay for the invoice. So it's kind of a mutual gain model. In order for us to test that idea quickly and cheaply, um, I asked for feedback in the WhatsApp group and it was awesome from EO. So thank you, Riz and EO who might be watching this. And then 
uh, more robust testing is we're going to send an email out to our email list with a landing page that's going to have the program and people can apply to be part of it because we only have room for 10 projects between now and May 20th to get live. So if we send an email out and people open it, we know there's interest. If people click through and go to the landing page, we know there's even more interest. And if people actually apply, then we know that there's a lot of interest in the idea. So we developed and solidified that strategy yesterday, have the emails being produced and landing page produced today, and then we're sending the email tomorrow morning. That's a great example of a cheap, quick test to see if the new idea is gonna have any interest. So um, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, another example would be uh, an event company uh, was trying to figure out where people are still gathering in their grocery stores. They had a uh, core competency in um, the idea of signage and wayfinding. And they realized that a lot of grocery stores weren't doing a really good job when it came to physical distancing signage. You know, you might see the blue duct tape on the floor or, you know, caution tape wrapped around different aisles and that type of thing. And so they reached out and they got new contracts within uh, a week or two and they took their event space, which was at zero revenue, and now they're growing it in this new business model. And for them to test that idea, all they had to do was call some grocery stores and see if there's any interest. So it was really easy for them to test the idea quickly and cheaply without having to invest a ton of cash or a ton of time. So I hope that idea gets you thinking on maybe how you can start to move forward. If you have any questions or if you wanna to talk to somebody, I'm more than happy to do 15 minute calls or even half an hour calls with anybody around how you might be able to you know, pivot your business right now um, using this, the core competencies that you already have without having to like reinvent the way you do things. Just maybe reinvent what you're doing. So I hope that helps. Um, I know that this model really helped me. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thanks so much. See you later, bye.